I'm sure you can tell by my gear that you know what I'm going to be talking about next. The Powerpuff Girls! Yay! Welcome back Nathan Nice to another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and please consider subscribing to my channel. And look who's back. I got Tango here. The cranky old bastard. But he's ours. Right? You know what we're going to talk about today? You want to tell them what we're going to talk about today? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to be talking about... Batman Soul of the Dragon. It stars the voice talents of David Gullian Tolley as Bruce Wayne, Batman, Mark DeCostos as Richard Dragon, Michael J. White as Ben Turner, Bronze Tiger, Kelly Hugh as Lady Shiva, and James Hong as O Sensei. So already a great talent, and what's really great about it is that uh, I don't know about Gabe, David Gullian Tully, but as far as the other the other talent that I mentioned, uh, they are all expert uh, martial artists, which all adds to the flavor to the movie. This is an Elseworlds uh, story based in the 1970s, where we get to. Uh, where we get the, the music and the style and the ambiance of the 70s all incorporated in this. And it also has, to me, it also has a little bit of a James Bond spy thriller feel to it. And I loved how they kept the light scenes light and the dark scenes dark uh, when it came to the day shots and the night shots. Not to mention that Batman is meant to be as we all know, a dark character. And it's an animated martial arts spectacular with some really hard hitting, sword slicing, suspense, and action. Now, for the disappointments. It's an animated martial arts movie. <laughs> now, I say that because I have wanted to see. Mark DeCostos, uh, Michael J. White, and Kelly Hugh uh, work together, just not on this platform. Again, they are very, very talented uh, expert martial artists. And I really wanted to see these three physically kicking each other's asses. That's <laughs> just what I like. Secondly, I, I didn't want this. I wanted the... I wanted a collectible steel box. I mean, I don't know if they were available or not. I couldn't find any. Uh, but that is what I wanted. I didn't not. I didn't want this. I really wanted that um, collectible steel box. Though, I mean, though I have to say, you no know, beautiful artwork on that. I mean, that's 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 pretty awesome. Love the artwork on that. Very 70s grain uh, martial arts feel to it. You know, when it, especially when it comes to Asian cinema. Uh, but I do like that. That's pretty cool. And the third thing is that I paid 20 bucks for this. I paid 20 bucks for a bundle. Which would include a DVD. It's just Blu-ray and digital. There's no DVD. I would like to have the DVD. You know. And in case you guys want to know why I want the DVD, just that, you know, as you guys know, I like to travel and, um, I like to, I have a, I like to bring a, like a mini DVD player with a screen on it. It's like I watch some movies while I'm on a plane or something. So, uh, still have the Blu-ray versions as far as I can tell or find. So, but that's why I wanted the DVD. So, cause you never know, um. When my deep, my Blu-ray player might go out, and I might need a DVD player. So, uh, but that's it. And um, 
before before I can conclude this, I definitely would like to say, um, I think I think DC Comics when it comes to animation movies that they are too focused on. Come here, come here, come here. Who come here? Yeah, there you go, little boy. There we go. He likes to go off on his own. Uh, and he wants to growl at me for no reason. Uh, <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Oh, he wants to look outside. Okay. Anyway, um, I think DC Comics, uh, when it comes to animated movies, uh, I think they're too focused on the three main characters. The, tr uh, the Trinity, you know, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. They really, I, I mentioned this before in other videos. I really believe they should broaden their horizons by doing animated movies on the lesser known characters. You know, uh, like again, uh, uh, Zatanna. You know, the one on Bronze Tiger or um, uh, Hawk, Hawkman, Hawkwoman, Batgirl. Uh, you know, the small, the smaller characters. You know, uh, they usually get the, you know quote-unquote the supporting roles you know so and and so I would like to know their stories also because there's a lot of characters in the DC Universe that I really don't know about that I definitely love, want to know about that I love to you know read about so and uh, it'll give me it'll give me an inspiration and motivation to go read about that character in the comics so uh, cause, again I'm a reborn comic book fan there's a lot about uh, comic books especially in the DC universe I don't know about so I would definitely love to see some more of the lesser known characters get their own animated feature somehow and I believe it will be a big money maker for you I, I mean at least I think so so uh, but yeah um, focus on try and get the focus on less or uh, more on the lesser known characters Okay, so, I mean, that's just my, that's what I would like to see, and, uh, I'm sure if you guys agree, leave comments down below, and, uh, tell me what you think, I'm sure that's what you like to see also. So, in conclusion, it is still a great movie to watch, it is very, very entertaining, and it told a very, very good, compelling story, I strongly recommend this movie, and if you're a DC Comics Especially if you are a DC Comics fan, like I am. And that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Enjoy the video? Yeah? Zero Fs. Zero Fs. This guy. Please hit that, sm please smash that like button if you like this video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and subscribe to my channel, until then, live long and prosper, may the force be with you, peace out, and I'll see you guys on the bounce, see you, bye, see you, bye, yeah. bye. Right, it feels right. I'm saying that it feels right.